Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Rocket Knight. This is part two, I'm Grey, just in case you were wondering. And yeah, I've turned the volume up a little bit because it seemed quite quiet in the last one. And I'm trying to sort out with the mic and that, with the noise gate and all different settings because there's a lot of hiss and stuff like that, which I think is my audio interface being a bit old and knackered or whatever. It's a cheap little mixer, you know. But it allows me to do the job and it's better than using the bloody webcam mic at any rate. So yeah, sorry about those sound issues, I can't do much about it. Maybe if I actually get anything from these someday, you know, like income or something, like a job, whew, maybe I'll upgrade. I hope so. I like the idea of doing these in good quality, because it does help the enjoyment a bit. But anyway, last time, if you're following along, you should be. I check every time now, or I seem to. But yeah, if you're following along, you know I was most of the way through stage two. And I just want to try to get this life here. Got it, no problem, as long as I don't fuck up this part. Yeah, we're good. Just turning it down a bit, it's quite loud in my ear. Anyway. So yeah, I got that life. It's kind of cool getting that life, because if you fuck up, you still get the life, you don't lose nothing, you know. You can try it again as many times as you like. And there's a few points in this game like that, which is... Especially when you try it on the harder difficulties, it's really fucking helpful. So yeah, we're getting close to the end of this bit for the final boss match with some sort of evil choo-choo train. I don't know what they're all called. I don't know if they even have names. But yeah. Doesn't matter. So yeah. Just taking my time with these guys. Getting bored now. They'll stop soon. They'll get tired. Figure out one of those killbots from Futurama and they'll send wave after wave of their men at me. Which, given that Sparkster, it's his name, given that Sparkster's main ability seems to be to get pigs out of their clothes, I'm not surprised they would try the old wave after wave of men tactic. But there we go. Anyway, this guy you can run up to you get about four or five times before ducking out. Wait, maybe six. It depends how quick you are. But you get right up close and smack the shell of him. Blows his nose off real quick. Like I say, hitting with the sword directly does way more damage than hitting him with the ring. Which, yeah, and I tend to fuck up if I let the boss fights go on for too long. So it pays for me to kill him real quick. There we go. Yeah, he's not too hard. I find it really funny. Again, I keep going on about hard mode, but that's because I know that I'm being a bitch playing this on one of the easier ones. Because it'd be easy enough to look up the code and that and just get the hardest mode or find things the American version of the ROM, but you get it right off the bat, you know? But, uh, yeah, I feel like a total bitch playing it on the easier modes. I can't help it, I just do. It's like I haven't completed the game fully until I've done it on the hardest mode. So technically, by my own rules, I haven't completed this game yet. I've only done it on normal and hard. I don't know what they're calling them. I never check that. The the one on the cartridge I had had different difficulty settings. I think you could access the toughest one right off the bat. So yeah, I don't know. But anyway, we'll call this normal mode because I know there's two more difficulties. One you get a couple of hits, and the other one is the actual hard mode, the one we all care about. So yeah, this will be the only time I ask for subs because I really want to have an excuse to learn to do this game on the hardest mode, so subscribe. If I get to 100, I will practice the shit out of that. Anyway, stage three. I like this one. It's all about the music and the very even lava. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, this bit's trippy as fuck, because there's a bit where you got to use the reflection to, uh, you know, navigate. And you need to use your booster as well. You need to use your rocket to get across a couple parts. Like that bit. This part's pretty straightforward. You know it fairly well. Not likely to die. Yep. Life. Wait for this to go down and I should be able to boost across to the end. Yep. There we go. Now this level, again, back to rambling about how awesome hard mode is. This bit, I always die on. I tend to just zip through it on normal mode or even the easier hard mode. I tend to zip through it without getting hit. But the second you put it on the hardest mode, and I know that I've only got the one hit point, and these fish are right little bastards about it, I seem to get really shaky and nervous, and I fuck up for no reason. It's purely psychological. I just fuck right up. 
I don't normally get hit on this level. I say. A little bit is fine. Let me find it. does half a heart of damage. It's fuck all. It really is. Anyway. Zip across here, no problem. And fight a boss real quick. And now that I think about it, this level doesn't seem that long. This stage. It really doesn't. Still. You blast down, straight down in the middle, you can hit the guy quite a few times before he even gets into the battlefield. It's just a pity his back isn't turned and he's not sleeping, eh? Well, you take every advantage you can get. Sparks, there might be a rocket knight, but I'm not, I'm a dickhead. And I will twat the fuck out of him when he ain't even looking. So yeah. Anyway, you take out one of the arms, makes it quite easy. If you take out both, he starts shooting these weird rings at you. But yeah, so as you can see, the pattern's pretty simple, and if you stay to the side and just attack diagonally, you ain't gonna have any real trouble. He'll die soon. See? Very soon. Go on, fuck off. Go back where you came from. So yeah. Anyway, onto this thing. It's weird. This is the world's most half ass mech unit, this one. The Rocket Knights have disbanded a long time ago in this game, I think, which means their budget's pretty low, so that's the best they could do. Hmm. No anime-style mech unit for him to pilot. Although, saying that, they seem to have got their act together later on, and if you haven't seen this game before, I'll let that be a nice surprise. Those of you that have played it before, or seen it or whatever, you'll know what I'm on about. It's cool. I like it. Anyway, avoid the spikes. Always a smart plan kill the bats. Another smart plan. Stay out of the lava. That's my best plan yet. Yeah. There we go. And we're off to the boss. I say that one seems quite short compared to the last stage. Right. This guy wants to eat me. I don't know why. He's a robot. I doubt he eats living tissue, but whatever. Anyway, up we go, and yeah, you jump over to the side that he was on. Otherwise, he'll come up underneath you on the next round, and he'll fuck you right up. Anyway, dodge these by staying close to the edge, and back at full health. If I'm quick, I can fuck this guy up really bad. Yeah, I, I, I swear I've done that in one before, like, just once. I managed to get him really good with the sword or something and hit him. But I'm too much of a bitch to try testing it out. I'd rather just hit him with the rocket pack so I know I at least got a decent hit on him. Anyway, jump to the left this time. Up he comes again. I'm gonna spit that crap everywhere. And I don't get any extra health on this side, really. I don't need any extra health. Hey, two. I am back. Yeah, I'll take it in two. That's pretty cool. Box is falling asleep. So yeah, that's stage two done. What time am I at? Yeah, I got time to keep going. As they're uh, very keen to keep these parts to ten minutes, because they upload like that compared to having a twenty minute part from an N64 game. But I'll make sure I keep these shorter. I don't like them too short, but anyway. I'll worry about that. Alright, there's old matey that captured the princess's ship. Can't remember his name. Axel something. I know some of them have got names. The king seems keen to help me. By firing me out of a cannon. Oh, it works. And on we go. No complex infiltration system. There's no Metal Gear Solid approach this time. Just blast your way in. Stage 4. Right, okay. Yeah, I got a little bit of time. It's the princess. Or is it? It's an ugly midget in drag. Well, that's almost as good for Sparks, huh? You like seeing all those other pigs naked, so this guy can hardly be that bad. This one has a hat. Very sexy. You motherfucker. Yeah, I ain't quite figured out the exact strategy for doing this guy in. I think normally I'll stand at the end. Yeah, and just hit him across. That does work a lot better, actually. It's easy to get hit like it, though. Anyway. Oh, fuck off. Right, so we're through. I'll play a little bit more, and then I'll cut to the next part. 
So this bit, I don't know if there's a pattern, but these barrels come at you. See? And you gotta dodge them. Which is a nightmare. And it's not that hard, but... You gotta be fairly quick with the old jump button. Mm-hmm. So yeah, if you see them coming there, you can typically just run forward. If they're coming along the ground, you gotta jump. Pretty simple. That guy's fucked off. I get to really finish him off in a minute. You know, kill him. Not wank him, you disgusting bunch. I know I make some gay jokes here and there, but come on. You're doing it again! Stop. Right, grab this life. Good. Right, okay, this guy takes a bit of patience. For some reason, you can hit him there, but if I do it again, just chucks you through him. Straight to the ground. So I gotta wait for these little bomb things. They're like the bombs from the Mario series. You gotta wait for them to come, and you hit them, and they fall down. Watch. Which takes a little patience and a bit of aiming on my part, so... You can guess I probably don't hit him too much. Eh, done him one. Sweet. So, if you don't succeed, you just keep cycling around like that. Get my rocket ready, just in case I miss one of these. Oh, I didn't. I'm fine. Uh-oh. Seaman. So yeah, you gotta dodge the weird... walls, shields, I don't know. They hurt you if you hit them, as you've already seen. So you gotta uh, just take your time. I think you can just sprint through if you're lucky. But... I'm not that fucking lucky. As long as you shoot all the sailor guys, you're fine, because they fire those at you. And you'll be quick to dodge it. Oh, fuck. I do love how they're, you know, powering it by just cycling. Great big ship like this. Anyway, this guy. He can be a bit trippy. Not quite a mech. Oh shit, yeah, I'm running over. Right. We'll fight this boss in the next part. Hope you've enjoyed it. Catch you next one. Bye.